have accumulated a huge mess over the last few weeks on my on my table right here. We have everything from tickets for some galleries to posters to a bunch of books and journals, study books, books I finished, books I haven't read yet. And I've been avoiding working with this mess, but there's no avoiding anymore. I have to do this. And I want to find a place for this huge poster I have here. It's a huge Chile poster. We're gonna tackle that right now. And I also have some film right here that I want to put up on my walls. I'll work with that too. I can see like my camera is dirty, isn't it? Yep, my camera, I think it was dirty. Sorry. We're gonna do that and see how this goes. I'm at that point where the mess has just gotten messier and I regret ever starting. But I'm keeping my hopes high because I think this is a sign for like I'm almost there. I'm almost gonna have it all cleaned up. Right now I just took some books out of my room and I wanted to show you the book I read last week, which is Cleopatra and Frankenstein. I would have liked it if I was younger. I mean, I do like it. Like, don't, yeah, I like it. I, don't get me wrong. It was a good book. And I did like the story in the end because I do think I see myself a little in Cleo. It was a nice read, but it was definitely a little 17 year old me would have devoured it and would have found her identity in this book and her whole personality would surround like it was it would all be about her and i think because i see young me in this book it's a reason for me to just i feel a little disconnected from her because she's she's in the past so she doesn't exist anymore it's an easy read i recommend i really like the cover too it's really beautiful and i also found the unbearable lightness of being by milan Kundera. And I don't, I don't know I read this book because it's pretty beaten up. Like it definitely either fell into the water or I took it with me to the beach. It's pretty beaten up. I don't really remember much of the story since I'm on the lookout for new books. I might just reread it. Maybe I'll have a different opinion on it. I know I wasn't too keen on it. I might reread it. And other than that, I have just a bunch of books I've already talked about. I have to put them up here now. Let's get back to it. I'm almost done. I think I'm almost done. It's cleaner and we have a new background. Do you like it? And I don't know if it looks like too much or if it's good but we'll, we'll roll with it. Um, I'm just getting ready. I don't know what I want to wear. I have like five minutes to get ready, so I don't, I don't have any time. So I just put an outfit I used to wear all the time. Very baggy pants and this mesh top because the weather is, it's rainy. It's been raining all day and it's cold-ish. I'm just trying to figure out what to wear because we're going to watch Barbie and I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna do just my eyebrows a little bit just to look put together. But we're watching Barbie. It came out like five days ago maybe. And I've been seeing a bunch of spoilers at this point, but I'm excited. Based on the director, her movies tend to be very emotional. <laughs> also the weather is perfect for a little cinema date. I don't know, I haven't done much today. Last week I didn't vlog at all. I wasn't feeling very well physically and mentally. I just wasn't doing well. I didn't vlog because I felt like, especially in summer, everyone posts about their summer and what they're doing. And I felt like my life is so boring. And I felt like it's almost not Insta-worthy. Like there's nothing that I post that's as special as maybe someone else's summer right now. And I got really sucked into this whole social media and summer there and how everyone's perceived. I didn't want to vlog. I didn't want to post anything because I felt like what I post is just not worth it. And I, I watched a video 
of Eva Jules. It was in a day in her life vlog. She wasn't doing anything extravagant. She was just living her life, doing little things that you do. And I realized when I watched it that I enjoyed the whole thing. I loved her video. And it wasn't anything too crazy, anything that you couldn't do on your day-to-day -day basis. But it was just her person that I liked, that she put out and who she was. To know that everyday life is what makes life worry like what i'm doing today being a little productive putting up art that's life too and it's being alive and there's nothing more or less alive in what anyone posts about their summer than what my week looks like right now and every day is special because i am alive and i am running late which tends to happen i just curled my eyelashes and did my eyebrows not doing more i don't even know i wear this outfit way too much no energy in me right now to put an outfit because what time is it? Oh, I should leave. Oh, and also my hair. Wait, everything's just not working right now. We have to leave. You have me wrapped around your finger And I can't seem to leave Baby, let me breathe Please don't be naive Staying a little longer Oh, you're so cute to me Please be careful Just want you here with me But I don't mind If you don't want me to sleep It's the next day right now, but I had no time to finish this vlog when I came home yesterday after the movie. I was really tired and I also spontaneously booked like a night in Italy at 1am for tomorrow. So I booked it at 1am on Wednesday and right now it's around 11pm on Wednesday night. So I'm leaving tomorrow morning, but that will be another vlog. By the way, Barbie... I would recommend watching it. It's something different. I really liked that a lot of people were wearing pink. I think it's really nice how you can see some connection between strangers in this way. That made the whole movie really fun and it was a good message. And I like the way the movie was shot. It was such a nice cinema date. I love going to the cinema with my boyfriend. But yeah, I wanted to say thank you for watching. And I hope you're doing well. Having little special days all around the world. And we don't have to compare our lives with anyone else's. Everything can feel special and can feel good. It really comes down to how we view it and what power we give it over us. So, and with that, this vlog is over. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sending a lot of love, love, light. And I'll see you hopefully soon. Bye!